Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be making another YouTube video, but this time I'm going to be showing off one of my scratch projects. It's my first scratch project in a long time. Alright, um, this is my passion project for physics class. And it's not just a good game, it's a great game. Work on this project has been exciting. I'm excited to share with you both on Scratch and on YouTube. A terrible storm caused by dangerous doom has brought this land to ruin. Platformer Pete is here to save the day. He must go through four different worlds and then defeat dangerous doom. Each world contains eight levels. All right. So let's play this. World 1, Black Hat Land. So, this is for my physics class, and when you run, you gain some speed. And when you jump, you fall back down on the ground. Alright, let's do a wall jump. What a big hat! Yeah, that is pretty big. Leap of faith. Careful, it's really hot. Check it out, speed and gravity. A hat on top of a hat. Difficult yet possible. Oh my gosh, this is a difficult level. All right, world two, waterfall land. These are my sound effects. All right, now I need to climb up this mountain. All right, let's get in here. All right, this level is a little challenging even for me. All right, let's get out of here. I'm imitating the wind there. Red Sandaland. Okay, so in this level I tried to add a push block there, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. I would have... I did that because Dad suggested me to do it, but I suppose it's for thought that counts. Hopefully I'll still receive a good grade on this project. This is from my school. All right. Oh my gosh, there's a big pyramid. Let's jump. Oh my gosh. World 4, Darkland. We are almost near the final boss. Okay, so we can run across these platforms. Oh my gosh, lightning. Oh, oh my gosh. Your health has been restored. Go, go save the world from danger. Alright, so this is the final boss. And it's painfully simple. No! You win! Congratulations! You defeated the final boss and saved the world from danger. Alright, so here's the link to the Scratch Project if you want to play this. Um, pause the video so you can type the link out. I'm looking for viewers actually because I'm the only one who viewed it. Look. So anyway, let's see inside this project. All right, so when the right arrow is pressed, I change the X velocity by one. And if the left arrow is pressed, I change the X velocity by one. And then I set it to X velocity times 0 0.9. Probably wouldn't have figured it out all by myself. I actually used my code from one of my other games. 
And so I change the x by the x velocity, change the y by 1, change the x velocity by negative 1. If touching the black, the up arrow is present. I set the y velocity to 10 and change the y velocity by 1. All right, so basically that's how the platformer physics work. Um, so this is when I touch the lava, this is when I defeat the final boss, and this is when I will reach the next level. All right, so let's view another person's scratch projects to see how physics is used there. Now I'm going to be showing two of my favorite physics projects. I found on Scratch made by other people. The first one is called Snowboard Physics Test. Alright. So, that snowboarder is going down. Ooh, check this out. It's going a little up. Alright. Then he's accelerating downwards. Whoa, he's even on the ceiling. All right. Um, let's see here. All right, then he goes this way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he fell. Oh, he got back up again. All right, let's go now. He's accelerating uphill. Oh my gosh, how does he curve like that? I'm trying to get out of here using my momentum. Nope, not enough. All right. Now let's gain more of that momentum. Oh man, he keeps doing those flips. Come on, I want to get out of here. And yes, we did it! Um, then we go up here. Unfortunately, this isn't an actual game. Whoa! He's falling! He's falling! Whoa! Look at that! Alright. That's basically the physics test. I assume that's the end. Now let's show the coding behind it. Just so you know, I might not understand all of it. Player direction, player SX. Tick. Um, this is a game. Um, let's do the player skin. Lane target. Let's see the variables. It's kind of hard for me to understand, but here's the code if you want to see it. Why are there all those naked Grips, they are unneeded. Try for him to test out. Level. Um. Alright. Now I'm going to be showing another project called Ball Off Ball Bouncing Plus Gravity. Alright. Um, let's see here. Okay, so there's gravity. Ooh, check this out. How does he do that? They, the balls bounced off each other. Let's see here now. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, it bounced off. All right. Oh my gosh, it's now up in the air. It's, um, physics. Uh, oh my gosh, now it's bouncing off the wall. All right, let's stop here and see the code. Bottom, top, bottom, left, right. So those are the laws, those are the balls. Fx equals max. So let's see the variables. All right. Why don't you take a look at that code for a second? I think this is the same code for both of those. Not much code for our tops and the bottoms. So there's my passion project. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you on my next video.